So this is how I play Intermission by Catfish and the Bottlemen on guitar. Um, capo 3 for this song and it's finger picked so you don't need a pick. I'm going to break it down into the fretting side of things and the picking side of things. Uh, starting with the picking side of things, I'll just explain the rhythm and uh, where to place your hand pretty much or how I do this. Uh, so I use my thumb for the bass notes, like the open A that you hear most of the way through the song. Just pick that. That's basically keeping, that's the timing and the rhythm for the song that you're going to set for yourself. You can do this as slow as you like to start with, just to help you learn it. Which is how I got it, pretty much, just playing this very slowly and adding the other notes on top. And once your muscle memory builds, your speed will build and then you'll be pretty much up to scratch to play it how it sounds normally, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, you're using your index finger to pick the notes, which is the B and G strings. And that ties in then to the actual notes, which I'm gonna go through now. Uh, so with that open A bass note behind everything, <clears throat> the melody is as follows. So it's hitting this 3rd fret B string twice, down to the 1st, and then onto the 2nd fret of the G string, and then the open G string, and back up to the 2nd fret G string. And just keep do that as slow as you need to, to make sure you've got that bass going on every single note, pretty much, at your speed, and it's pretty much like your personal metronome. Uh, sort of. So that's that, nice and slow again. And then the other part of the song uh, is built of two main shapes, well one shape and some open notes which are as follows. The first bit and this bit of the song goes like this. At the end of the verse, it's tying into the next verse, uh, if you can call it that, because it's only a short song, really, literally an intermission. And at the end of the song, that's how you play the song out. Um, so there are little variations which you can pick up and figure out from those. But the first part of that bit of the song is the shape is like this. So the bass note is going down now to the bottom E string, and you want to hit the first fret on that. Uh, ring finger. 3rd fret G string, <clears throat> I mean 2nd fret G string, sorry, and the middle finger on the 1st fret B string, and then you just play in those notes uh, with the same picking pattern as you did for the start of the song, so the bass followed by the index finger on the other two. And then the second part, like as I'm going into now, is just the same notes but open. So you're just hitting that bottom E, G and B open. Uh, so again. obviously the ending variation as you can see it's not that much difference it's all about getting the main rhythms uh, and shapes on the fretboard in your head tying those together as I've said do it as slow as you need to to pick it up uh, and then build up your speed from there that's as best as I, as I can explain it really it's I'm not a teacher but uh, that's how I play it and that's how I've made sense of it and broke down the song to learn myself so I've, yeah, I hope it helps. Uh, let me know if it does. And I'd like to see other people play it. That would be pretty sick. So yeah, thank you.